children welcome to online edu classes in which today we are going to discuss chapter number 12 our life supports part 1 children when we will talk about our life support we can think of three things water soil and most important thing air can we live without water can we live without soil or can we live without air we can not live without these thing but the air is most important because we can live without water for few days but we can't live without what air for few minutes also and without soil we can't grow food so these three are basically our life support and in this chapter we are going to discuss about air children as we know that human being cannot live without air for more than few minutes right they cannot live without water for more than few days all living thing need air to breathe so for breathing we need air and what we inhale we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide let us discuss how air is important to us for this let us do one activity light a candle then cover it with a glass jar you will see that after some time candle get extinguished what it means it means that air is required for burning the part of air that supports burning is called oxygen here you can see that burning candle is being covered by glass jar and after some time it is getting extinguished it is getting extinguished because oxygen present in the glass jar is being consumed by the candle and after some time there is no oxygen in the glass jar and so no burning of the candle is possible it supports that for burning oxygen is required let us discuss composition of air the clean air consist 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and 1% other gases carbon dioxide and water vapor are also present the presence of dust and smoke is also there the percentage of dust smoke and water vapor in the air may vary according to the environment let us discuss properties of air air has weight air occupies space and air exert pressure air has weight for proving this we will blow two balloons and tie them at the end of the stick balance the stick by shifting the position of the balloon now prick a balloon and let the air escape from it what happens when all the air escapes the stick tilt towards the air filled balloon this show that air has weight let us perform an activity to show that air occupies space take some water in a glass tub or a container Take an ordinary transparent empty tumbler, turn it upside down, and dip it into the container. Does water rush into the tumbler? Here, you can see that water is not getting inside into the tumbler. Now, here, tilt the bottle a little bit. You will see that water is rushing in the tumbler. Why? because air inside tumbler is getting out in the form of air bubble and that space is being filled by the water this proves that air occupies space let us discuss about pressure first force exerted on or against an object by something in contact with it air also exert pressure air has weight and occupies space right anything that has weight exert pressure gases exert pressure in all directions they also exert pressure on the inner walls 
of the container that holds it. Usage of air pressure is air pressure is used to fill a pichkari and a doctor syringe. Air pressure is also used in fountain pen. When we suck something from the glass like juice or any other drink, that is also due to air pressure. Let us discuss an activity to show that air exert pressure in upward direction. Take a glass filled with water up to the brim. Make sure that there are no air bubbles in the tumbler. Cover the tumbler with a piece of cardboard. Press the paper with your hand and turn the tumbler upside down. Remove your hand and observe what happens. You will see that the cardboard and water are held in place because the air pressure is acting on the cardboard in the upward direction. This experiment shows that air exert pressure in the upward direction. Air exert pressure in downward direction. In this picture, you can see that this person is carrying a heavy bucket on his head and he is feeling the weight. The weight he felt is because of the air pressure which is acting here in downward direction. Pressure exerted by air is called atmospheric pressure. The instrument used for measuring air pressure is called barometer. This is the picture of the barometer. Air pressure is exerted in all directions. Pressure pushing down on an object exactly balances the air pressure pushing up on the object. Let us discuss layers of atmosphere. Troposphere. This is the first layer above the earth's surface. Changes in the weather occur in this layer. We live in this layer only. Stratosphere. This is the second layer. Many jet aircraft fly in this layer. Ozone gas is also present in this layer. Ozone absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. These rays can cause skin cancer. Mesosphere. This is the third layer. Meteorites or the small rocks moving about in space burn out in this layer and therefore do not reach the surface of the earth. Thermosphere. This is the fourth layer. Space shuttle move about in this layer only. Exosphere. This is the fifth layer of the atmosphere. So children, now you know how much air is important to us. So for getting fresh air, what we should do? We should plant more and more trees. So we will come in next video with some more interesting topic. Till then, thank you.